We're back for another Big Brother review. Say hello to Reese. Reese needs a home. Reese is, no Reese doesn't. Reese, Reese has a home. Reese is leaving here next week. Headed out. Hey Reese, stop biting me. Ah, ah. So, you know, we're back and this week, everybody should know by now, but we're going to discuss it here on this channel, who the HOH nominated for eviction. We have MJ, we have Tucker, and we have Cedric, who offered to go on the block. What's with these people? Crazy, insane. Insane? Crazy? Now, I know these aren't all super fans, but... I'm assuming that before you agreed to go on the show, you at least watched a few seasons or got some background information on the show and how it works. And one of the first rules is don't nominate yourself to go up on the block. Don't just say, hey, put me on the block. That is the biggest risk there is. At first you have one in two chances of going out, but now you have one in three chances, but still, don't offer yourself up. So watch what you say. Watch what the f you say. Because that's just dumb. Because rule number one, even if you are offering yourself up as a pawn, pawns go home. Now, mind you, last week, um, Tucker the pawn did not go home. And now Tucker, what? Is a target. He has a big target on his back because Tucker, at least in my mind, he has proven himself to be a comp beast. And he's so cocky about it. I can beat you all. I'm going to beat. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to crash. You know, he's so cocky. Let's go. But you don't realize that one day you can't win all the comps, Tucker. You cannot. Somebody is going to beat you eventually. And some of the comps will not be in your favor of Braun. Because I don't think, I don't know. It doesn't seem like Tucker is one of those guys who's sitting around memorizing stuff in the house. <sighs> You are done out here. Take go get you. I just can't see that for Tucker. But hey, I've been proven wrong before on this channel. So what do you know? But so back to Quinn. Quinn committed a cardinal sin. Actually, I think production committed a sin by giving these powers and not giving stipulations to the power. Rule number one should be... You do not talk about Fight Club. You cannot tell anybody that you have a power because they have now ruined the week. That could have been entertaining. It could have been Angela's um, HOH because, you know, Angela wiles out. We know that. Angela goes ham. Angela is paranoid. Angela is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And so this could have been a fun week. Had we not known about Quinn, Quinn's power, Angela could have been doing her, her HOH things and then I, poof, here comes Quinn taking over her, her HOH. But now that we already knew that Quinn had the power, it's no fun there. Loose lips, Amen. sink ships. It's no fun. And so it just seems like this season is going downhill. Now, mind you, the games have been fun and cool. Twist on the regular games, you know, with this AI AI Ainsley twist, it, they, they've they been a little bit better. However, it's still, you haven't fooled me. These are still the same games with a so-called digital twist. I mean, they're analog in a digital world. And Quinn really wants to be the Corey of this season. And mind you, you remember Corey, the booger eater, right? Who was with America hanging out in a hammock, which was like so gross to me, at least. It was really gross because... I didn't find America to be that cute personally. Like she just looked slinky and he looked slinky and he was eating boogers. So I didn't like Corey and he thought he was smarter than everybody. But why would you want to be like someone who didn't win the game? I would never try to position myself as I'm the nerd like Corey and I'm going to get the girl, which um, Quinn did not get the girl. Quinn did not get Leah. And for some reason he's protecting this girl. Um, Leah, I want her to go home. Go home, Roger. I want her to go home because she's thrown off the games of guys in the house. Now, people thought Cam was going to come in and be this threat because he's he's a muscular black man 
and he played in D1 um, football. But Cam has been a flop. He's not only a competition flop, he's a personality flop on the show. He adds nothing, but uh, he's almost as bad as, he's not even as bad, Takor is not even as bad as Cam. But he's almost as bad as Takor's mm-hmm's. You ate that. <laughs> he offers nothing but being lovesick. And then you have Rabina, who is kind of on, she's kind of like a misfit on a misfit island with Takor and Kimo, but she's in this like flirt mance with Tucker that's kind of gross. So, and Tucker doesn't fully trust her. So what's really going on? Yeah, back it. Hey. <laughs> but like back to Takor and Kimo. They keep making all these plans and never doing anything, sitting in their little circle, their little circle playing Twee Lee Lee and Patty Cake, talking and, you know, like just like good Judy's, but never acting on anything. They have all the strategies, but never doing anything. So this season is just kind of, I don't know. I'm just not really interested in watching the feeds because one, they're boring. Because they, you know, shut down Angela and her antics because of you people out there who who just can't handle a little bit of um, irreverence and and a little bit of contention or people who don't think like you, you get upset. So you call their bosses to get them fired. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> How rude. So... It's just made for a season that's going kind of downhill on the feeds. And when they edit the shows, it just becomes very vanilla and toast. So anyhow, I guess I'm ranting today versus reviewing. Ain't nobody asked you nothing. <laughs> you sound like you bourgeois anyway. But we have our nominees and we'll see who wins the POV competition. We'll see, is it today or is it tomorrow? I always get them confused. But whenever the POV competition happens, I'll be sure to be back on here. I'm oh yeah, and as always, like and subscribe and comment. Drop in to the comments and tell me what you think.